What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. I'm here with Abby. Hi. And we have one trade-in to show you guys so far, but we also got a big package in the mail. So we're gonna be opening this up. Pretty sure I know what it is. It's an awesome item for the collection. Um, I'm also working on the website right now. We're supposed to be launching it officially on the 18th, which is our one year anniversary from the first day we opened the store here. Um, so I'm currently, I took some pictures of the t-shirts. I got them edited. I'm uploading those now. I have to put in all of the inventory levels for everything. Um, so that'll be going up soon. And I will of course let you know when it's going up. I hope, hope you guys are excited. Um, I do, did want to say in advance that we only got 50 t-shirts to start out and um, <clears throat> 2x and 3x we only got two of each and I'm pretty sure when we posted it on our Facebook and stuff Abby was saying we've already had multiple people asking for those sizes for 2x and 3x there's only two of each available right now for this first print run so um, if you want one of those sizes you're gonna have to get you're gonna have to get on the website quickly um, we will order more of course um, but we didn't want to order too many shirts to start out. And then, you know, we don't want to order, you know, 200 shirts and then only sell 30 of them. So, um, we have, I think we have 12 of each except two X and three X. We have two of each. Um, but we're only putting 10 of each of the smaller sizes up on the website. Um, just to make sure that we, you know, we have enough extra, um, customers come in. So I walked back here. Um, so we have 12, like 12 small, 12 medium, 12 large, 12 extra large, but I didn't want to put, put all 12 up there, have them all sell and then not, not have enough for the store or whatever. So I don't expect to sell as many in store as I think we will on the website. So I'm putting 10 up, just going to leave two for the store. Um, but yeah, um, I'll let you guys know you know, when everything's going up and hopefully you guys are looking forward to it. Uh, once the store clears out, we're going to open up that package and take a look at the trade-in. So this is the first trade-in here. And in between this clip and the last clip, we had another trade-in. So I'll show you guys that next. But this one came with an NES, got some cables, a couple DS chargers, a couple really weird NES controllers. These two big plushies here, these are World of Nintendo. Got Mario and Luigi, super cool. And then these games. So we have Streets of Rage 2 complete, not for resale version, Karate Kid complete, NBA Jam, Elder Scrolls Online, Desert Strike, Jungle Strike, Little Big Planet, Assassin's Creed 3, Unreal Tournament, A Realm Reborn, Breakthrough, and Ring King. A lot of these were games I was going to pass on, but it was kind of an all or nothing deal. Othello, Ice Hockey. Platoon complete, Tiger Heli complete, Fast Break complete, and Anticipation complete, just minus the Styrofoam. I'm sure some of those NES games I'm going to need, or they're at least going to be condition upgrades. The Anticipation's not in great shape. There's a big hole there, and it's all scratched up, as you can see. But all the other ones are in pretty good shape. Then we have Rygar, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, a factory-sealed uh, Assassin's Creed Unity, and a factory-sealed Little Big Planet 2. And then if we come over here... The other trade-in we got, we have an Atomic Purple Game Boy Color with Pokemon Gold. No battery cover, but we have extras. Dying Light for PS4, Pokemon X, Kingdom Hearts 1, Jack and Daxter Precursor Legacy, Ape Escape 3, and then Rugrats Search for Reptar, Mort the Chicken, and Digimon World 2, which I don't know if you've ever had one of those in. <laughs> so that's cool stuff. And now let's open up this package. All right, so pretty sure I know what's in this package and it's gonna be really, really cool. This is something for the collection and I did a partial trade for it and then also paid a little bit. Well, it was a lot, but if this is what I think oh. it is, okay. customer came in so we had to cut that right there, but, oh wow. They used a bunch of these boxes as a pack. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Can we use these for anything? Shipping certain things, I suppose. There's like a ton of them. 
Well, there's at least six. And there's a lot of this. Don't throw it on the ground, please. Not gonna be fun to clean up. Oh my gosh. I'll pick it all up. Oh, come on, baby. Ooh, it's bigger than I thought. A little bit. There's something else in that as well. There's power cable. And then some more boxes for pack. Okay. Let's get this opened up. So, for those of you guys, for those of you who've been following the channel for a very long time, um, Abby and I went up to Seattle at some point and bought a bunch of stuff from an ex Nintendo employee. And included in what we bought were these Yoshi Story like art slides. They were about that big. They were they weren't negatives, but they were like you had to hold them up to the light to kind of see what they were. And they were just like little examples of like the title screen or just whatever. And I had them for a long time. I thought they were cool, but I didn't care that much about them. This was a cool N64 thing to have in the collection. But this guy had this sign and he was interested in the slides that I had. So we agreed on trading. I traded him the slides plus some cash. And I got a European Nintendo 64 sign for the collection. So this was never available in North America to retailers or anything. And so it's a very uncommon sign for someone in the US to have. And I think it's awesome. It's got like a bubble thing to it. Like it's not, it's not perfectly flat, double-sided. And since it had like the European plug, he actually modded it. So it uses a regular NES power supply <laughs> to power it. So you've got that right up here just plugs in so it's got a couple of these things to hang it up but yeah this thing is super cool so let's plug it in and see how it looks all right guys we got it hooked up here it's a little difficult to tell since the lights are on and everything but it looks pretty cool so I asked the guy I got it from for a little bit more info on it because the the print quality and stuff on it is pretty low you can see there's like gaps and <clears throat> you know it it doesn't look perfect so I don't think that it's a bootleg or anything like that because um, he said that he bought this from Greece, which is not the area that usually a fake sign would come from. Usually they're from China or something. Uh, but I do think it, it looks really, really cool. Um, when he bought it, he said when he, it arrived to him, the bulb inside was broken. So he put LEDs inside, which is why it has like a new connector and everything. I don't know if I can film down in that hole there. You can kind of see, but yeah, I think it looks really cool and I'm happy with it. I'm hoping to get some more info from him about it though. He's going to ask the guy he bought it from, so might be able to get some more info, but uh, either way, I'm very happy with it. So we're closed now, guys. I wanted to give you a little update on the plushies. You can see there's a lot of room in here. We've been selling a ton of them, which is awesome. There, there were a ton in here, but we sold a bunch of those as well. There's still plenty left, but we have sold quite a few. And then we have these ones left over here. But like I said, we've been selling a lot of them. Also sold all the cassette tapes today to a guy, which was awesome. And then we have the Big Meowth in here still. Pikachu. And the Spyro. Pikachu, the really big Pikachu's gone. Um, we sold the Gengar. We sold, today we sold the Blastoise, the uh, What's it, the pop, pop, not, it's one of the starters from Sun and Moon. Oh, pop pillow, or pop something. Something with a P, the big blue it, one. It's a seal one. The blue seal thing. Um, we sold a Charizard out of here today, and just a bunch of other ones. So, we didn't really have many trade-ins, so I figured I'd go through some of the sales for you. We also sold a bunch of the figures. You can see some, some empty spots in here. The Stranger Things figures sold, and some of the Pokemon ones as well. So let's go through some of the sales now. All right, boys and girls, 
We're gonna go through some of the sales since we didn't have any, we didn't have many trade-ins today. So today was a ridiculously good day for sales. Like this is probably the best day we've had for sales in, I don't know, a month and a half, which is crazy because it's a Thursday. The only reason we our sales were so good is because we sold a we sold multiple system bundles, so people would buy a system and then a bunch of games. So yeah, we sold voucher course. Yeah, and so we sold some expensive things. Abby handles most of the Instagram and Facebook stuff, and she brokered a few deals. <laughs> so That's me. so we have. Should I list off some of these? Because I think we're doing a mystery package. Um, yeah. So. Because we're, we're doing like a mystery box for someone. And if I list off some of the games that are in it, obviously they're, they're going to know. I'll put them right here for you to see. Okay. Nobody look. So those are. That's it? Yep. Okay. There's some VHS, but, and he has, he knows the other thing. So we sold Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. Um, for Xbox, Battlezone VR for the PS4, we sold that Blastoise plush, Bomberman 64, Champions of Norath, Charizard plush, uh, Crash Team Racing, and Crash Tag Team Racing, two copies of Crash Tag Team Racing, um, we sold a Dark Souls 3 Collector's Edition Strategy Guide, I need the scissors, scissors, where are the scissors, I feel like you lost them, oh I can't see them, um, what else? Like I said, a bunch of figures, Pokemon stuff, uh, Donkey Kong Country, Dragon Ball Fusions. I don't even know what that is. Um, next page. We sold, we had these two packs of, like, X-Men figures, and each pack had, like, five figures in it. We sold both of those. Um... So we sold the Gotcha Force. I'm seeing now that Abby actually ran it through twice. Did I? Yeah. Oh, I didn't think I ran it through because there was no receipt. So we need to take that out because the Harvest Moon that he also got went through twice as well. So <laughs> uh -oh. Gotcha Force, Harvest Moon, Another Wonderful Life, both for GameCube. Obviously, Gotcha Force was super expensive. That was probably the most expensive game we had in the store. That one went for 250 It was his birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, Kingdom Hearts, 358 over two days. Uh, Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon. Mario Tennis, that was N64. Um, an N64 system bundle. Um, what else? Uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Sky for DS. Sounds kind of expensive. Pokemon Ranger, Poplio is the Pokemon we we're trying to think of. Uh, Ratchet Deadlocked, a red 3DS XL system, a red Game Boy Advance SP system, Rodea Sky Soldier, uh, Snorlax Plush, Street Fighter 2, Super Mario Bros., Super Smash Bros., Skyward Sword, Twilight Princess, a uh, couple wireless adapters for the Game Boy Advance, um, Mario Bros. 3, uh, Mario Kart 64, Mario Party 5, the Simpsons, Bart's Nightmare for Super Nintendo. We sold God Hand, the one without the manual. Uh, Vampire Knight. We sold the Retron 2 HD, a black uh, Circa brand N64 controller, which are the ones from Hyperkin. And then just a bunch of other cheap stuff that I didn't mention. So 83 items total. Um, so we need to take out the Gotcha Force, a second one, because <laughs> um, it's showing our sales as being much higher than they are. Still a very, very good day, even without that double Gotcha Force sale. But uh, we're going to go do some grocery shopping and then head home. So one thing that we didn't get the other day, which I wanted to get and just forgot, I wanted to get a bunch of soup because I love it. And it's easy. It's very easy to make and have. So, we're getting some clam chowder, some, what is this one? Chicken broccoli cheese with potato. I'm gonna pick out a bunch more. Um, it's just so easy to just like put it in the microwave for a little bit and then have it 
to eat and it's much easier than having to like wash dishes or wash a pan and cook something so and it doesn't really go bad so I'm gonna get a bunch of it and I'm gonna have some soup what are you doing she said none of my D word business she's cursing on the video you guys oh my god oh my god I'm running away from you. Why? Because you're cursing. I didn't curse. I heard you. They probably oh, didn't hear you. No. They, they Stop. Didn't. I'm not done getting my soups. Get out of the way. You're She's in trying the to aisle. run me over. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> How many Help me pick out some need? soup. Okay, that you looks just good. Eat soup all the time. You're just going to get diarrhea constantly. Not true. Yeah, true. If you have a liquid diet, do you think it I'm not going to have a liquid diet. <laughs> this is not a liquid diet. This is just having soup Who every now and then. Who needs this much soup? That's not even that many. Um, yes it is. No, it's not. Help me pick some out. You need some too. You want steak and vegetables? How about split meat? How about chicken and orzo with lemon? That's what you need to get. That's your favorite. We got our stuff. We still didn't get that many like groceries that need to go in the fridge just because of our problems. But we got some stuff. It's not my fault that it's leaking. I didn't say it's your fault. <laughs> How it's is not it my your fault. problem then? I don't know what you're talking about. 